I've recorded something already. Let's have a listen to it. Hello there. This is Mike Russell showing you my ultimate vocal chain inside Pro Tools. And I'm going to do it using just four native effects to Pro Tools. Super, super easy. I'm going to do it now. So on your inserts, you're going to want to install these wonderful effects. The first insert will use a plugin and we'll go straight to Dynamics and we're going to use the DIN3 Expander Gate. This is simply a noise gate. So you basically set a threshold and you say any audio above this level gets through the gate, it's heard, and anything below, we mute it out and we keep the audio nice and clean. So that's the first part of a good vocal chain. Uh, at minus 24, that should be pretty decent. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my ultimate vocal chain. And you can actually see as I'm speaking, that's the level of the audio and this is the gain reduction. Uh, at the start, obviously the gain reduction right down because there's no audio, so it's muting everything out. And then it does little bits of muting as the audio plays back. Now, if I push that threshold up, it's gonna have a higher bar for audio to reach to get through and it'll start chopping my words. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my- Look at that gain reduction going absolute nuts. So I'm gonna move it down a little bit. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my ultimate vocal chain inside Pro Tools. It's still clipping me a bit, so I'm going to move it down further. Probably where I was near enough minus 24 is good. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my ultimate vocal chain inside Pro Tools using the awesome Avid effects that are all included. Okay, so I've uh, moved that down further. And you can see that little square jumping about to show where the levels are on your audio, which is fantastic. If I want it to be harsher, I can move the ratio up to a higher value. And if I want it to be softer, I can move the ratio down. Attack, release, hold will leave the same and range will leave as is. They're pretty good. And that is a pretty solid initial expander gate as the first insert on your vocal chain. Once we've done that, we'll get on to EQing because I know you love a bit of EQ. It really makes the voice pop out and that's going to be the next effect in my chain. Plugin, EQ, and we're going to go for the EQ37 band, which is included in Pro Tools. This is super easy to use. As we hit space to play back, we can manipulate things. Uh, and the first thing we're probably going to want to do is actually go ahead and grab the, the red dot here and put what is known as a high pass filter, essentially rolling off low end frequencies in real time as I play. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my ultimate vocal chain inside Pro Tools. So you can see I've got, I've got a nice indication here that this, all these frequencies are cut out and it's a nice soft curve as well. Now, if I like, I can always go ahead and change the cue to make it a sharper, more harsh roll off, but I think I'm quite happy at around one on the cue. Then here you can see this orange frequency is getting boosted up, some of the bass, let's play with that. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my ultimate vocal chain inside Pro Tools using the awesome. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's move this up. Hello there. This okay, now we'll need to move the cue width up so we can really notch and we can scan through and remove frequencies we don't need. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my ultimate vocal chain inside Pro Tools using the awesome avid effects that are okay right there i don't like that frequency so i'm moving that one out so that was uh, at 600 hertz hello there this is mike russell showing you my ultimate vocal chain inside pro right right about there once we've got that we just turn the gain down on it the other way and of course we work on the high end as well which is simply a nice high end boost here hello there this is mike russell showing you my ultimate vocal chain inside pro tools using the awesome Nice and crispy. Now we can go with that on or off as well, which is really good at the moment. It's on. Switch off. Hello there. This is Mike Russell showing and then on. you my ultimate vocal chain inside Pro Tools. So nice difference being made already. Uh, now, as you can see, we're clipping into the red here. So just move the output gain down a little bit. Hello there. This is Mike Russell showing you now my we're looking good. ultimate vocal chain inside Pro Tools. Okay, so we've got the expander gate, we've got the EQ, we've got really good stuff going on. We're gonna do a bit of DSing as well. So, okay, to do this, we'll again go back in and we're gonna look through at each different effect to see what's available to us. Under dynamics, we've got DIN 3 DSer. Let's bring that in. This is a simple one where we scan through frequencies and see exactly what is happening with the audio. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my ultimate vocal chain inside Pro Tools. Okay, now I've turned the range deliberately up to a very high level so we can hear what the DSer does. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my ultimate... Right, right about there, 6.5. You can tell it's working because it sounds like I have a lisp. It's like, hello there, this is Mike Russell. And when that's happening, it means your DS is in the right place. Now we just got to move that range back up so it only catches the S's and no more. 
Hello there, this is Mike Russell. Okay, you can see that line going down for the S's, probably still a bit too harsh. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my... Still a bit harsh, let's move that up a bit more. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my... Oh, bit more, and you can see the gain reduction coming in again to eliminate those S's. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my ultimate vocal chain inside Pro Tools using the awesome Avid effects that are all included. Okay, that's fantastic. Now, just with a bit of de-essing, we've got a nice little de going on there. So no matter how much high-end and sibilance we introduce with the EQ37 band, we can get rid of it with the de -esser. And finally, one of my favorite things to fatten up the voice is to go into plug-in, and we're looking for the uh, dynamics again. This time, we're going to go for the DIN3 compressor and limiter, and this is where we really amp things up. Okay. How do we set this? A ratio of three is good. That means for all the audio that goes above your threshold, it's compressing it three times to one. Or if you do, for instance, two to one, it's chopping all the audio above the threshold in half. Let's start with the default settings and see what happens. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my alt. You can again see the gain reduction going on there. That's quite harsh. We could push the ratio up and move the threshold down. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my That's a real pumpy compressor. And obviously when that happens, we need to increase the gain. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my Probably a bit too much, so I'm going to move that ratio back down to about 4 and the threshold up to about 25 and the gain coming down a bit. Let's go just over to here. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my ultimate vocal... And of course, you can see them all working as well right here in your inserts. You can see the gain reduction flash flashing on to show you that it's working. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my ultimate vocal chain inside Pro Tools using the awesome avid effects that are all included. Okay, now we've created our vocal chain, let's compare after and before we applied each effect. So this is the compressor after it's been applied. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my ultimate vocal chain and before inside Pro Tools using the awesome and after. avid effects that are all included. So a big change there with compression. de after. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you and my before. ultimate vocal chain inside Pro Tools. A little more sibilant, definitely without the de -esser. Now we'll go into the EQ and we'll listen to after. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my ultimate vocal chain inside Pro Tools. And after. Using the awesome Avid effects that are all included. Big difference there. And finally, let's go over to the expander gate. This one will be hard to hear. Hello there, this is Mike Russell showing you my and ultimate vocal chain inside Pro Tools and after. using the awesome Avid effects that are all included. Now, obviously, you can hear a big difference in three of the four effects. Obviously, the expander gate would be much more noticeable if you had some background noise like a fan or something else going on. So there you go. Four different effects that can get a brilliant vocal chain result for you inside Pro Tools. And if you enjoyed this one, go out and watch the other video I did just a moment ago about looping audio in Pro Tools as well. That's on now.